Welcome! This is my first tutorial of 2019. It is about procedural organic modeling with VDBs, SDFs and Booleans. So what I will show here is combining polymodeling with volume shaping. Modeling in Houdini can be fundamentally different to other 3D packages, whereby there are of course also overlaps. The techniques I show in the tutorial will also work well for hard surface modeling, but are especially cool for organic shapes and structures. For this tutorial, I was looking for something that really needs and benefits from being made procedurally. Things that grow, things that follow rules or are being built on top of each other, or objects with repetition that also require variations are perfect candidates. So this tutorial is about modeling the Ammonidea, also called Ammonites, or Nautilus. First thing I did was research. I searched for images, and in this case, even biological science papers. And I even bought an Ammonite in Amsterdam on the street market. Those animals are actually ancient and existed hundreds of million years ago and used to be about 9 inches in diameter. But fossils of amazing 2 meters diameter have been found too. Nowadays, we have something similar in our oceans, the Nautilus, which also existed about 500 million years ago. During my excavations on the internet, I also found a great Houdini tutorial by Yunichiro Horikawa about the mass of ammonites. I actually ended up using his setup as a basis. His tutorial channel is one of my favorite Houdini channels and it is very inspiring. I love his calm style and in-depth information. But let's analyze and look at the ammonite shell now. This is another wiki image of a nautilus shell cut in half. So let's look at some renderings I prepared earlier. All rendered quickly in Mama's toolbag before you ask. Real-time renderings can be sufficient in many cases and can be actually quite nice, I think. The first obvious shape feature is a special type of spiral. It is a logarithmic spiral. If you want to know what that actually means, you can read about it on Wikipedia or watch Yunichiro's tutorial that I mentioned earlier and you will find the link below. In this rendering, you can see the sections of the ammonite. They are also called Kamerae. Basically, the animal ever so often moves forward in its shell and builds a new wall. And those chambers are sort of self-intersecting as the animal builds the shell on top of itself. In between the sections, there are walls called septa. They come in many different forms and are curved in various different shapes. Not much Houdini yet? Please watch part 2 where I will show how to go about modeling ammonites procedurally in Houdini. Please leave a comment or like and please share the link. I really dig that. You can make me very happy. Or we can even be virtual friends on Facebook. Did I mention that I'm also on Patreon now? Well, I am. And the link is also below the video. Don't worry. The tutorials will stay free, at least for now. And actually, I have no plans whatsoever to do paid tutorials. But, there has to be a but, I guess. Once I have enough Patreons, I will also release the scene files and HDAs used in this tutorial and other tutorials. But again, they will be released for everyone as I really believe in free knowledge exchange. Bye for now and thanks for watching.